After hitting a high of $50,000 on Monday, yesterday we hit a low of $46,200 as we had the option contracts expiring this morning with the max paying price set at around $44 thousand dollars as you guys can see here the price of bitcoin has still been respecting this ascending trading channel that it's been bouncing back and forth from so now with option expiration out of the way and a touch of the bottom of this channel are we expecting to see a continuation up past the fifty thousand dollar level or with september coming around can we see more downside let's not waste any more time and dive right into today's video hey what's up jay here and welcome to bitcoin daily bringing you guys the best tips tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you, the community, with the knowledge and resources to take your wealth up to that next level. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And if you enjoy this video, please smash that like button. All right, so looking at the charts here, not too much has really happened throughout the week. We, we've had the pullback after we hit that $50,000 level and we've pulled back to the bottom of this trade channel that we have been trading within there. So you can see that if we follow this back to where, where we started coming up, you'll see that we touched the bottom of this channel here and we didn't exactly touch there, but we, you know, we got, we pulled back to right before the bottom of the channel before we bounced back up. And it looks like we've got another one here. So this would be more or less the third time that we're testing that bottom. So the good thing is here that we're, we continue to set higher highs higher lows right every time that that we've gone up and we've pulled back we've set up a new higher high a new higher low we set up another higher high here another higher low so as long as we're above this forty-four thousand dollar area we have set a new higher high and a new higher low so we are still good still trending upwards everything's looking good you know these small pullbacks are just short term. They're expected. They're part of the market structure. You know, you can't just have the price go up only like we did here, right? We had like 10 days straight of just green candles. That doesn't always happen. It doesn't always work like that, unfortunately. So this is we're still good here. So if we continue on this path here, I'm expecting that the bottom of this of this pullback is going to be around that forty six thousand dollar area where we already hit yesterday right so that would mean that if we're continuing within this pattern we're going to set up set up a new high we should be setting up in, for a new high within the next week right so that would mean possibly you know breaking up above this fifty thousand dollar level and going beyond possibly to the top of this level so the top of this level at this point where is going to be around fifty five thousand dollars so if we say that a week from now that'll take us a week to get to the top of the channel if we look at the date here that would be september 3rd so if then we come over here and look for september 3rd we're talking about around fifty five thousand dollars right so uh that would be kind of around this range so we would be expecting to to get a bounce back basically up to the top of that level now we don't always hit the top of the levels we did hit we did hit it here and here but you'll notice that we didn't hit the top of the level here so if even if we don't hit the top of the level and we just set up a new higher high you can expect to hit between 52 to 54 thousand dollars that would be like the the average there that we could potentially hit if this pattern continues right if we get a move up over the over the next seven days before getting another pullback i, I imagine if we got that pullback it would be a retest of fifty thousand dollars so that's what we're looking for right now to continue this pattern up we're looking to break above we're looking to bounce off the bottom of this channel first of all then we're looking to break above the previous high which is around that fifty thousand dollar range right so we need to finally break and stay above 50,000 that'll take us up to around between 52 to 54,000 dollars and then we're gonna 
get a pullback, right? And that will be when we get the pullback, that should be the retest of the $50,000 level to confirm that we have broken above it and be able to then continue upwards. If we pull up the moving averages here, because remember, we're watching for that golden cross. And right now, the way that they're moving, it looks like it might happen around September 4th range um, within that week, which is actually my birthday. But if it happens, if it continues the way it's moving right now, it could be anywhere within that week. So um, it might not be that exact date, but that's kind of my projection for the moment here. Uh, just kind of looking at how they're, the moving averages are currently moving. That would give us a golden cross there. That would be this around the same time where we could be peaking to the top of this channel around that $55,000 area. So that's what we will be watching over the next seven days to see how it develops. Now, as we continue to look for the areas of open interest, you can see here that once we can get above this level here, there's a big drop off. Look at this drop off here, right? So what that is telling me that once we are able to get above 50,000, there's really not much holding us back from 54 to 55,000. So that gives us that, you know, that kind of that piece of the puzzle fits the story that we're trying to tell right now, right? It's telling us the same story. If we can bounce here, get above 50,000, we should shoot up to around that 54 to $55,000 range by uh, sometime in the next week or so. And we could at the same, that same time be getting that golden cross. So it's all kind of telling the same story. In Ethereum, there's not, hasn't been too much movement here. We've still just been consolidating here in this range after this massive move up, you know, leading up to that update. But we have kind of been in this, somewhat in this channel right here. You can see basically a pennant is forming here, right? So this is basically a classic bull flag here, which we can be, you know, possibly expecting a breakout once it starts getting to this to this edge of this bull flag, right? So we, we have to continue to watch this to see how it develops. But the main levels that, that we're interested in here are still, you know, above 3,500 to see that continuation to the upside for $4,000. And 3,000 is where we're looking at for pullbacks to continue buying those dips and writing them up. Overall, we expect Ethereum to continue following Bitcoin depending on what Bitcoin does. All right, so let's talk about some trade setups that we will be watching over the weekend. So the first one is, of course, the $48,000 area. I still love this area. It's still a major area for me. So I'm looking to continue buying any bounce backs over $48,000. So what that means that any time that the price goes below 48,000 and then comes back up, I'm buying it when it when it comes back up because every time it breaks back above 48,000, there's an there's a opportunity for it to go up to $50,000. So I am scalping those entries at 48,000, all the pullbacks at 48,000. Now, the next thing that we will be watching is of course a break above $50,000 again. We're not gonna be playing the in-between at 49. We're looking for a break above 50,000. If you wanna be on the safer side, then you can look for a break above this high here, which would be around 50,564 ish. So that's pretty much it. Those are the main things we're looking for this weekend. We don't expect anything too crazy. As you know, over the weekends, there's usually low volume. So if there's a big move, it probably wouldn't happen until Sunday. Now, of course, if for any reason whatsoever, we end up breaking down here, then I'm looking for entries at that $42,000 uh, support there. It should be a very strong support. And that's the next area that I'd be uh, looking to enter in the event where there's any sort of dump off that that, you know, that goes that bad. Right. In Ethereum, we're keeping it simple. We're not trying to do too much. We're looking for entries at three thousand dollars still. And potentially we're looking for entries above thirty four hundred dollars. So those are the two levels that we're going to play the stuff in between. You can play it at lower risk, but there's just there's just a lot of consolidation, a lot of choppiness there. So it's, it's kind of a 50 50 
shot at this point playing what's in between. So our favorite levels are 3000 and above 3400 and of course above 3500 as well. That is pretty much it guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel or maybe you've been around but you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss these analysis and when we go live and of course the trade setups to make you guys some profits. So thank you guys so much. Hopefully you guys make some profits over this weekend. Hopefully we all make some profits this weekend. As always guys, have a great weekend. I will see you guys on Monday. Peace and love. Thank you.